Right, what's going on guys? So some more information has come out regarding my video yesterday about the Guardian Smearer campaign on Boris Johnson. It seems his girlfriend Carrie Simmons is furious. Her lefty Ramonian neighbour called the police for no reason in a politically motivated attempt to smear the frontrunner Boris Johnson. I guess that is why they didn't release the audio recording, as it was nothing but a normal spat between a couple. The Guardian don't care about facts, obviously. So let's check out this new article, obviously destroying this Ramona's attempts. The article headlines, Boris Johnson's furious partner Carrie Simmons brands cop call a stitch-up by lefty anti-Brexit neighbour. We all knew this was the case. Boris Johnson's furious partner Carrie Simmons tonight claimed she had been stitched up after cops dashed to a late night row between the couple. Carrie, 31, had told pals she is too scared to return to her £750,000 flat after being subjected to what she believes to be a hate campaign. A Boris Camp insider said, as far as Carrie is concerned, this is a stitch up. Both she and Boris are convinced this was politically motivated. Now, I said earlier it was politically motivated. Well, yesterday, sorry. I knew that it was a politically motivated attempt to smear Boris Johnson and try and derail his campaign. The article continues, It was a row like lots of couples have at the end of a demanding day, but suddenly they find the police at their doorstep. Left-wing playwrights Eve Lee and Tom Penn were behind the police call out in Labour-held Camberwell, South London on Friday. The couple live directly below the flat Carrie shares with Boris, 55, in a converted townhouse. The left-wing Guardian newspaper had quoted an unnamed neighbour who said they recorded the row from inside the flat and called 999 after knocking on Carrie's door and failing to get a response. On Saturday night, Remain supporting Tom29 confirmed he had called the police and said, My sole concern was the welfare and safety of my neighbours. He also admitted recording the spat and contacting the Guardian. It also emerged on Saturday that New York-born E34 had a series of anti-Tory tweets on her account dating back to the Occupy London protests in 2012 when Boris was the capital's mayor. A tweet posted on her recently deleted Twitter account said, Just gave Boris Johnson the finger. Oh, so she's got, a, she's got actually got it previous for not exactly liking old Boris, has she? I bet he really gets on her goat moving in next door. On Saturday, anti-Boris posters were plastered on fences opposite Carrie's flat. One was even left on Mr Johnson's car next to two parking tickets. Decorated with stars from the EU flag, the posters say, We'd rather endure him as our neighbour than our Prime Minister. And 300 locals are today planning an anti-Boris rally to coincide with a dog show. All well, 300 of them, yeah. Terrifying. Means there's probably about five, if it's anything to go by the BBC's reporting. Now, what the anti-Brexit neighbours say. Tom, who has lived in the flat with Eve for a year, said, In the early hours of Friday, I answered a phone call from a takeaway food delivery driver. At the same time, I heard what sounded like shouting coming from the street. I went and collected my food. On the way back into my flat, it became clear that the shouting was coming from a neighbour's flat. It was loud enough and angry enough that I felt frightened and concerned for the welfare of those involved. So I went inside my home, closed the door and pressed record on my phone. You was that terrified that you thought you would record it. How does that help you if you're terrified? If you're that scared, surely you would have phoned the police. After a loud scream and banging, followed by silence, I ran upstairs and with my wife agreed that we should check on our neighbours. I knocked three times at their front door, but there was no response. I went back upstairs to my flat and we agreed that we should call the police. The police arrived within five minutes, our call was made anonymously, and no names were given to the police. They subsequently called back to thank us for reporting and to let us know that nobody was harmed. To be clear, the recordings were of the noise within my home. My sole concern up until this point was the welfare and safety of our neighbours. Once clear that no one was harmed, I contacted the Guardian as I thought it was of important public interest. What are you actually on about? How is it public interest that a man is arguing with his wife? I believe it is reasonable for someone who is likely to become our Prime Minister to be held accountable for all of their words and actions and behaviours. Well, the police come round and said that he did nothing wrong, you idiot. Like, what are you talking about, soy boy? The police come round, he did nothing wrong. Why should he be held accountable for doing nothing wrong? Fucking idiot. I voted to remain within the year, you will, of course you fucking did, you're an idiot. This is the extent of my involvement in politics. Oh, now, and smearing politicians, that's your ex involvement. 
You're now a full hard left wing activist. Don't talk so much shit. I mean, who is lefty neighbor Eve? You know what? I don't even really care. Look, she's this dog. A Cambridge graduate, Eve, is the daughter of late American composer Mitch Lee and artist mother Abby. Okay. In January, she wrote a play for a pro-European event, Brexit Stage Left. Yeah, why don't you fucking Brexit Stage Left, you fucking monster? Brexit Stage Left is a festival of staged readings of provocative, cutting-edge plays from across the EU. So the leftists are probably shit. The London Festival was co-founded by the Creative Europe programme of the EU. In an interview earlier this year, she criticised cuts to arts funding. Well, of course she fucking would. She's an artist. Which means she does nothing. She's a bum. That's why she supports Labour, I guess. Her social media has accused Theresa May of having insanely cruel policies towards immigrants, poor people and people of colour. Oh, fucking drop me out. I've had enough. These people are unreal. How has Theresa May ever done anything? Why, well, Theresa May is now a um, racist, I'm guessing, yeah? <sighs> Whatever. In February 2018, a tweet said the government have blood on their hands after Grenfell. Well, yeah, I suppose any government that's been in since that building was erected has blood on their hands for it. And now if the cladding is the best that the poor deserve, then fit down in street with it. Well, they're not poor, so that doesn't make any sense, does it? In November 2017, a retweeted comment said, Today's debate has Boris Johnson set men in politics back decades. The previous July, there was a retweet by, of a plea by a Guardian columnist, Owen Jones, urging people to donate to the local Labour candidate. It said, we can replace Boris Johnson with a Labour MP. Just imagine, please donate here. What the boat? Well, Boris Johnson's camp just says it. it's, a, it's rubbish. I'm not going to carry on reading it. This article is absolutely epic in length. But they just essentially go on to say that it's blatantly a smear campaign, politically motivated. There was nothing in it. She shouted, get off me, get out of my flat. Boris is reportedly, reportedly heard loudly ordering her his lover, get off my fucking laptop. There you go, phone the police, report it to the media. That's it. Like, it's just ridiculous. But I guess the article does pretty much confirm what I suspected in my previous video on this fake news. This is a Ramonian rich woman and her soy boy husband trying to smear one of the contenders to become prime minister. They knew she was in no danger. They just wanted to call the police. That's why the leftist shit weasel took down the identification numbers of the police cars that attended their bogus police call, as I said in my video yesterday. Using an accusation of domestic violence to further your undemocratic socialist agenda is a disgrace. But it is what we have come to expect from these entitled, hard leftist spunk trumpets. At least Boris and his girl have moved away from the Ramonian neighbourhood for now, so these dirty fuck pigs won't be able to do it again. Eve Lee, you will be a nomination for shit weasel of the week this week, you absolute disgrace. So that's the end of the video guys. We all knew it was a dirty smear attempt and it seems to be all but confirmed as one now. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Like and share the video as it helps a lot and I will see you all in the next one.